Number one, how to run two apps at one time. So first, we're gonna pick the app we wanna run first. In this case, I wanna run YouTube. I'm gonna swipe up. I'm gonna to go to the Google folder and find the YouTube app. Open up YouTube. Next, I'm gonna tap the Recent Apps button in the bottom left corner. I'm gonna go over to YouTube and tap on the YouTube icon right here and tap open in split screen view and then select another app that I want to be open at the bottom of the screen. In this case, I wanna have my text messages open while my YouTube is playing. Now I can watch this YouTube video while I'm using my texting app right here. Now you can also tap on the video and tap the square in the bottom right corner to make it full screen. And then you can take your phone and you can actually rotate it in the landscape position. So you can continue to watch your video on the left while the right here continue to interact with your text messages. So pretty cool feature there. And you can also save this as an app pair. So if you wanna use this two pair of apps later, you don't have to follow the steps I just showed you. You can just tap on one button and it will take you back to this pair, just like this. Tap on the three dots and tap on the star and select home screen. It's gonna save this pair of apps as a pair and you'll tap one icon on the home screen to get back to it later, just like this. Well, first let's go ahead and close out our split screen. Take your fingers and on the three dots here, just drag down and that'll take you out of split screen. I'm gonna pause my video, hit the home button. And now we're on the home screen of the phone here. If you swipe to the left, you can see this is my app pair that we just saved. So if I wanna get back to that split screen where YouTube's at the top and messaging is at the bottom, I just have to tap on this one icon here and it will bring me right back to this app pair for easy use in the future. Now, I also have another app pair that's already saved and this is uh, Google Maps and YouTube Music. I can tap on this It'll take me right back into that same pair as well, where I can look up my directions and also have my music player open so I can continue to listen to music while I'm driving. So, pretty cool. That's our first tip right there. If you found that helpful, show some love and hit that like button. Number two, let's talk about how to launch your camera on any screen, even if your phone is off. That's right. This is called the quick launch camera. All you're gonna do is tap on the power button twice this will automatically take you to the camera so you can capture those pictures or videos and not miss any important moments. Now, if my phone is off, even if you have a passcode, you can still double tap on that power button to wake up the phone and take you right into the camera. You'll be able to take pictures and videos. And when you wanna look at those pictures, it will then ask you to put in the code. That way you're not hindered from using the camera. Now. This is pretty cool, but some of you might say, oh, that's cool, but you know what? I would rather that double tap be able to do something else for me instead of launch the camera. Well, we can do that. This is called remapping the double tap. Let's talk about how to do that. We're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and tap on this little power button right next to the settings wheel. And from here, we're gonna tap on side button settings. And this is where we can change what that double tap function does. Instead of it launching the camera, instead we can make it open an app. You're gonna tap on open app, and now we can select any app to launch when we hit that double tap. So for example, maybe you want your phone to launch YouTube whenever you hit the double tap. Well, let's select YouTube. Now, when we double tap that button, it'll launch the YouTube app. So this is a pretty cool way to kind of change the settings to fit how you like to use your phone versus how the phone is initially set up. Next, let's go over how to send lots of files or how to send really large video files. But first, a quick word from the sponsor of the video, Hybe. Hybe just launched a Kickstarter campaign for their digital Xeno USB-C earphones. These aren't just your average earphones. What really sets them apart is the MIMS hybrid design with dual DAC and digital crossover. You're getting studio quality sound, deep bass, crisp highs, and balanced mids all packed into a compact, sleek design. 
Whether I'm listening to music or watching a movie or taking a call, these earphones adapt to whatever I'm doing. The sound is just next level. And the best part, they're super comfortable, even for long listening sessions. There's also a built-in controller for volume, playback, and easily switching between the different sound settings, such as dynamic mode for heavy bass, hi-fi mode, which you can use to customize your audio and frequency using the hi app, and the gaming and cinema mode. If you're looking for earphones that bring out the best in your music, podcasts, and movies, check out the Hybe Digital Xenos using the link below. So I'm going to go to my gallery, which is right here. For those of you that don't have the icon here, you can simply swipe up and you'll find your gallery right there. I want to long press on this file. And for reference, I can tap on this all button and I can select all these files at one time and I can share them all at the same time, or I can select one or multiple files. It's all up to you on how many uh, files you want to share at one time. After you've selected them, you're gonna tap on the share button at the bottom, and then you're gonna tap on quick share. You'll then tap on this little QR code button here. You will need a Samsung account to do this, and it is free to sign up for a Samsung account, and it takes just a couple of seconds. Once you finish setting up your Samsung account, you're gonna go back to tapping on that QR code, and from there, it's going to create a link that you'll be able to copy and then share with anyone via text or email. This next tip is a really fun one and it takes a few steps to set up. So we're gonna start with swiping up and going to the store icon. This is the Samsung store or the Galaxy app store. Go to the upper right corner and tap on the magnifying glass and you're gonna type in good lock. Tap on Good Lock and download the Good Lock app. This is an app that is created by Samsung that allows you to add uh, much higher levels of customization to the phone. And let me show you how it works. So we're gonna open the app by hitting that little play button. Now there's a lot you can do in here and I'm gonna specifically focus on um, this certain feature. So we're gonna look for the page that says Nav Star and tap on the down arrow here to download this. Okay, now that it's downloaded, if you swipe to the top of the screen, you're gonna tap on Nav Star, hit Start, and you're gonna allow all access. Turn this on, and this will allow you to customize how your home buttons are gonna look and allow you to add new shortcuts right to the bottom of the screen here. Tap on New Configuration, then, tap on button layout, then tap add button, and tap on camera and screen capture. This will add a screenshot shortcut and a shortcut to your camera right at the bottom of your screen, which is super helpful. Next, you can drag these icons to what part of the navigation bar you want them to sit. So I'm gonna drag my camera, so you just put your finger over it and drag it. I'm gonna drag my camera to the right and keep my screenshot button all the way to the left. And then I'm gonna hit done. Now we're gonna save it. And now if we swipe up, you'll see that new configuration at the bottom. I can select it. And now at the bottom of my screen, I have a shortcut to get to my camera super easy right at the bottom of the screen here. And I now have a screenshot button that I can use to take a picture of my screen. So this is just one of the many things you can do using the GoodLock app. I love this customization. I have this exact same configuration set up on my personal phone and I love it. I use it all the time. So. That is just a quick shortcut on how to add some really cool buttons to the bottom of your navigation um, pane. And you can obviously go in and, and, and have more fun with this and do more with it, but that's how I like to set mine up. As a reminder, if you're getting value out of the video, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Next, I wanna show you how to hide apps on your phone. We're gonna hold down the home screen we're gonna tap on home screen settings. From here, 
We're gonna go to hide apps on home and app screen. This will then give you a list of every single app that is on your phone. Now let's say I wanna hide these games. Maybe your kid is not doing well in school and you wanna hide their favorite games until they get those grades up. Well, I can go through, select all the games, hit done. And now I hit the home button and I swipe up, all the games are gone. They're still on the phone, but they're hidden. And so you have to know how to follow the steps in order to unhide them. Now, unfortunately, they're not hidden by a code. So if your kid obviously knows how to follow these steps, they can unhide them. But this is just a cool way to hide certain apps that you don't want your kids or anyone else to have access to when looking at your phone. All right. Next, I wanna show you a really cool shortcut to keep your phone running smooth and quick. You're gonna add this widget, it's called the device care widget. You're gonna simply hold down the home screen, tap on the widgets button here, swipe up and find device care. Tap on this arrow and hold down on this first option here and drag it anywhere on your home screen. And this will give you a button that when you tap it, it will clear your RAM and it will close out any apps that are running in the background that could be causing your phone to slow down. This is a really easy way to just keep your phone running nice and quick and snappy. Moving on, let's talk about one of the really fun new AI features where you can basically circle to search anything on your home screen and find it on the internet. Now I took a picture of some headphones I've been testing recently and I wanna figure out where can I buy these headphones or just get more information about them. I can hold down on my home button for about one second, it's gonna bring up this search and now I can simply circle the headphones and it will do a Google search for me and it'll find them. So it'll find where I can purchase them, it'll find different variations of them. I can see some reviews right here Here's the link on Amazon of where I can purchase them. So this is a really cool way to find any product that you have an interest about and you want to learn more about it or buy one, this will help you buy it. Now the easiest way I found this is take a picture of something first and then do exactly what we did. Go to the picture, hold down on that home button and then you can search it through the web uh, with that circle to search feature. Next I wanna show you how to get more apps on your home screen. Um, by holding down the home screen like this and tapping on settings, we can change the home screen grid from four by five to four by six, which gives us an extra row at the bottom. We can go to five by five and that's an extra row at the bottom and an extra column on the side, or we can go up to five by six, which is two extra rows at the bottom and still that extra column on the right. This gives you a lot more room to add a lot more to your home screen. Next, I wanna show you how to use the one-handed mode. This is a very tall phone. It can be a bit hard to use it with one hand. Swipe up, go to your settings. You're gonna swipe up to advanced features. From here, go to one-handed mode and turn this on. Then tap on one-handed mode, change it to button. Now, Whenever you tap the home button twice, it'll automatically launch the one-handed mode. And the way you use this is essentially, when you're holding the phone, it can be hard to reach the top of the phone because of how long it is. But now, I can simply hit the home button twice. It'll shrink the screen down, and make it easier for me to reach different sections of the screen. You can tap the arrows to move the screen to the left or right, depending on if you're a left-handed person or right-handed. And it just, again, makes it easier for you to reach the any section of the phone. When you're all done, tap on the area to the outside, and that'll take you out of the one-handed mode. So pretty cool there. Just makes it, again, easier to function with one hand. Now, the very last thing I want to go over, well, actually, before I go over this, I do want to give a quick plug to Samsung's new watch. This is the Samsung Galaxy Watch FE, a really fun new smartwatch for a very competitive price. And this will track your steps, track your heart rate, allow you to track your water intake, 
Um, you'll be able to get your text messages sent right to your phone. You can answer the phone and talk on the watch when you're in Bluetooth range. The watch does a ton of cool things and this is something cool to consider picking up. I'll have it linked on the screen as well and I'll have it linked in the description if you want to check out the price for this and pick one of these up. It is compatible with the Samsung Galaxy A35 and you should definitely consider picking one up. Now our last tip is a really fun one. I tried to save the best for last. So I'm gonna show you how to change your lock screen so that it doesn't just show a static image, but that it actually shows a video. Now I'm going to unlock the phone here, go to my gallery. We're gonna be able to make this the lock screen video. So we're on the file. We're gonna to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots and we're gonna tap on set wallpaper and I'm gonna tap on lock screen. There we go, so here's our video. We do have to trim it a bit, so I'm gonna hit trim and we can make it just a bit shorter. Let's make it just 10 seconds. I'm gonna hit done. Now we're gonna to go to the upper right corner, tap on done. And now let's hit our home button Let's lock the phone and then unlock it. And now this is our video wallpaper. Pretty sweet. So you can record a video uh, using your camera. Um, now this phone will go up to 4K 30 frames and then you can simply make that video your lock screen wallpaper, which is super cool. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. And I wanna hear from you in the comment section down below. Let me know what tip or trick was your favorite. And if you have any other really cool ones to share, you can also share them in the comment section down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. You'll also find more really helpful videos on the A35 here. This is a playlist with all my A35 videos and you'll find a, another really helpful video right here. So check out those. You can keep on learning how to use your phone. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.